fact that, that NASA is doing research on this, this comet, Comet Einstein. But the, Hi, Mark here. Uh, today I'm going to do a little recap on potting up with paper pots, making paper pots and repotting with them, and uh, get right to it. This is a pretty simple process. I like doing it, but I don't have too many to do. So here we go. Yeah, first thing you need, obviously, is some paper. And I'm going to use this newspaper here. It's a good size for me. It doesn't have to be exactly that size for you. I'm going to measure this quick to show you. This is about 11 inches by about 22 inches. And uh, first thing we got to do is we only want, well, I only want, a single sheet to do this pot with. So we're going to find where the center of it is. Get yourself a good sharp knife. And we'll just cut that along there. Be careful not to cut yourself. I'll make this really quick. I, instead of doing these each individually, I found out is we'll just take the whole works, fold it in half. This is what we're going to use. It's just this single sheet here. And then you can separate these out. So I got some separated out here already. And before what I had been using, my other video I showed using tin cans. Now this is a good size here. This one's, I want to make usually about a three inch pot crossed. It's about three inches. And it can be that deep. Uh, usually three inches is a pretty good uh, depth. The trouble with cans I found, the last video I showed you, if you wrap that paper around there too tight, and you're trying to pull that off, it's got, these, it's got this little ridge here and it's just enough to make it hard to pull off of there. So I came up with this here, doing a little different. Found me a bottle. It's nice and smooth. It's rounded on the bottom. Put this tape on there. You can measure that. This, uh, this bottle here is three inches. It's about well, a little less than that, about maybe two or three quarter inch, which is good size. The nice thing about these is you can keep whatever bottle you find. You can get some that are a little narrower but make them a little bit deeper. I notice a lot of times when fruits want to go down deep, the little pots you get from the gardening store are usually kind of shallow. So I'm making my pots about three inches. So I put the tape there, and I could mark that up there if I want it a little deeper, but three inches is going to be good. So, and uh, get your paper going here. And if I was going to make a lot of them, you could actually do this. You get a whole bunch of them here, and I notice I've got these folded over and I'm keeping this margin that's going to be on the top of my pot. So I put that about where I want it and we just scoop right along here. Yeah, that's a little crooked. Let's redo that. So you line that up good and uh, once you get the hang of it, you can go right along. I can make about two, two and a half pots a minute. Straighten that out a little bit there. Okay, now I did previously, let's see if we're getting this in there okay. I uh, took an old plastic cutting board here, put my strips, put a strip of masking tape like that, and then I took a sharp knife and I just cut them down. I put a board on this side here, see they're kind of loose and then you can separate them out. What I'm going to do with that, you don't really have to tape these together, but I found for me it's a lot easier. So what you do is just take a piece of tape and put one on the top here. And um, we're going to take the bottom and we just fold the bottom under. Nice and neat. Take another little piece of tape and we'll hold that all together. So there you have it. The reason I put the margin up here is what I can do, I'm going to transplant some ground cherry today. You can write right on top of there what you got in there, ground cherry. And that should hold up long enough that when you plant them you'll still be able to read that. I've done this in the past and it's worked good. And uh, notice how nice that slips right off. You can straighten it out. So what you started with was a single sheet of paper turned over. I fold it over to make a double sheet and roll it into a pot. 
means of communication and navigation okay. operation. Get this out of the way. I'm going to check my tomatoes. Uh, I did a whole bunch of these already. Electrical current flowing in the upper uh, atmosphere uh, already. In addition to highlighting the longitudinal dependence, the meeting also explored the impact of lower atmosphere. So here's my ground series. I started started these. Uh, I think it was in the last week in March when I started my tomato plants. I have a hard time getting these seeds going. They're really tiny. Now there should be a ground cherry growing in every one of these. I put two seeds per pot for whatever reason. They just don't want to germinate. But I got, got three of them going really good here. The other thing I like to do is use something called mycorrhizae, mycorrhizal products. And when I repot them, I'm going to sprinkle some of this on the roots. I'm going to use it dry. You can mix a little bit with water if you've got a lot of plants and you want to spray the roots real quick. And uh, this is concentrated mycorrhizal powder containing spores of four specially selected beneficial mycorrhizae. And I've noticed I think that makes your plants grow a lot better. So we're going to get that open and ready to go. Take my little plants here, pop them out, and just do those two. And I use for the mycorrhizae, I've got to use a paintbrush. Normally I dump a little of this out, I don't want to contaminate it with dirt, but uh, and I just sprinkle it on the roots. Now what happens is this, uh, these are beneficial organisms, they'll attach themselves to the roots, and as the plants that roots start growing into the soil, this organism actually helps to uh, extract the nutrients and whatnot out of the soil. So there we have our plants. Got our little pot. Big bucket of soil here. And the soil, I, it's got a little bit of fertilizer in it already. So. So you got your pot. I'm going to put a little soil down on the bottom of that. So I don't know. Tomatoes now I normally plant deeper than deeper than what they're growing at. Gets extra ruts on. I believe we can do that with these two also. So there you are. Get your hands a little dirty here. And uh, get those done. Get the water that up good. Put it back under the lights. A little ground cherry. Yeah, it's getting kind of late. It's about uh, today's uh, 11th of May. And uh, I had to hold these over for another couple of weeks, I think. The weather's been kind of cold. <laughs> Because the majority of Americans believe global warming... Yeah, we're going to take a walk out to the greenhouse. We'll show you some tomatoes that I've already planted like this. And uh, they're doing pretty well. Keep them in the greenhouse. I have to put a little heater in there at night now for these couple days. It's going to get down in the 30s. Our president took over after Kennedy was killed and reversed all the economic policies that Kennedy put into place, especially dealing with money...